Um, it's an honor to be here tonight as MWA president and an absolute delight to look out at this room filled with people dedicated to doing the thing I love the most, writing crime and mystery. I'm seeing the Edgars is a crowning moment in the president's year and I could not be more thrilled. Though I had options tonight, um, my son has tickets to outlaw wrestling in a Brooklyn church basement. Um, so if we stick to the schedule here, we can still make it on the subway. Um, basically, I'm here to keep the show rolling so we can get to what counts, the awards. Nominees, this night belongs to you and to everyone who has brought your work to us. Publishers, editors, agents, producers, directors, supportive family and friends, the people sitting beside you, fingers crossed. As Donna said, most of the awards will be presented after dinner, but tonight we are inaugurating a new award, and uh, right now I am beyond honored to present it. G.P. Putnam's Sons has partnered with Mystery Writers of America to create the Sue Grafton Memorial Award. Yeah. <laughs> As MWA said in announcing the award, Sue Grafton launched one of the most acclaimed and celebrated mystery series of all time with A is for Alibi. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. She created the model of a modern female detective in Kinsey Milhone, a feisty, whip-smart woman who is not above breaking the rules to solve a case or save a life. Like her fictional alter ego, Sue Grafton was a true original a model for every woman who has ever struck out on her own independent way. Sue and Kinsey will be remembered as international icons and treasured by millions of readers across the world. Sue was a longtime and beloved member of MWA. She served as MWA president in 1994, was nominated for three Edgars, and was named Grand Master in 2009. I was here that night and privileged to share a few moments of an amazing evening with Sue. I'm one of those millions of readers who cherish her. Like Sue, I'm from Santa Barbara, California, where she was regarded with prize, pride as our hometown superstar. She was unfailingly kind to everyone she met, and her work inspired me to write crime fiction. She was my hero. It's absolutely fitting that MWA and Putnam name an award after her. I only wish that she could be here tonight herself to present it. The Sue Grafton Memorial Award honors the best novel in a series featuring a female protagonist in a series that also has the hallmarks of Sue's writing and Kinsey's character, a woman with quirks, but also with a sense of herself, with empathy, but also with savvy intelligence and wit. The nominees for the Sue Grafton Memorial Award. Parish by Lisa Black, Kensington. <laughs> Shell Game by Sarah Paretsky, Harper Collins, William Morrow. City of Secrets by Victoria Thompson. <laughs> Penguin Random House, Berkeley. A Forgotten Place by Charles Todd. Harper Collins, William Morrow. To Die But Once by Jacqueline Winspear. Harper Collins, Harper. And the Sue Grafton Memorial Award goes to Shell Game, Sarah Paretsky. Thank you, it's beautiful. Um, good evening, I'm Emily Crump. I'm Sarah's editor at William Morrow and I'm very honored to accept this award on her, award on her behalf. She was very sad not to be here tonight. Um, she did send along a few words that she wanted me to share with all of you in case she won. <clears throat> While I'm most honored and gratified to receive this award, it is also a hard occasion. Sue's and my careers were closely intertwined 
We published our first books in the same year and covered much of the same territory in tandem. With Liza Cody and Marsha Muller, we four blazed the trail that has turned into a major highway. We worked on such similar themes and subjects that Sue liked to say she and I must have been conjoint twins in an earlier life. Her death feels very personal. I'm sorry that I'm not able to be present at this inaugural award, but sorrier still that Sue was taken from us while at the peak of her powers. We all must, we, pardon, we all miss not just Z, but knowing where her creative mind would have taken her next. Sarah Pretzky. Thank you. Thank you.